Okay, so today I wanted to show you how I have my rain barrel set up and I want to show you how easy it is. So as you can see here, um, I have the downspout comes down and then I'm going to have a link to this. This actually here diverts some of the water into this tube here to the actual uh, rain barrel. And then when it's full, the rest will come out of the spout here. So this is the divert right here. So ideally you don't want this clear tube here. You want something that's either black or white uh, because of the sun you get algae. But I use this water mainly to water my garden and do other things. It's not to drink, so it's not a big deal. Um, eventually I am gonna replace this tube. So you can see how the diverter works. Just basically the water that comes down the spout here gets diverted into the rain barrel. And this rain barrel I bought it on Amazon, but you can use any kind of barrel. A lot of people use those blue food grade barrels for this, which is perfect for it. So there's a couple of ways to turn this on when I need water. Um, the main uh, shut off switch is here for on and off. And then we have two more here where it V's off, right? Where there's a, there's, a, there's a V here. I have water going to my fish pond on this hose right here. And then this hose right here is if I want to fill um, the watering can. So I'll show you how that happens. I'll go ahead and uh, just turn this on. And then you can see I have water and that's basically all I do. So this rain barrel right here is about 50 gallons. So that's a lot of water that it holds. And you'd be surprised how fast this rain barrel fills itself. So it's a very efficient way of collecting rain water and using it for your garden. And then when you're done, when you have filled or used the water, you can go ahead and just turn it off like I did there. And I will go ahead and link the components that I used on the description. And what makes this work is basically you need a rain barrel. You can use a food grade barrel, those blue barrels that they have. And then basically just make a couple of holes. And then you need some kind of diverter, which is the diverter that I have there. And then as you can see that clear pipe diverts the water to the rain barrel. And anything that's excess goes down the spout like it normally would. So to collect the water, I do this on my shed here. And you can see it's a very small shed. You can see that the uh, the gutter where it is. So the gutter is all the way there. And I would say it's a probably, I don't know, a 12 foot gutter. And that's enough to fill that 50 gallon uh, rain barrel pretty fast. If you had another one, you could link that one to another one and it would fill the consecutive rain barrels. So you'll notice I elevated the rain barrel. And I did that because the higher the rain barrel is, the more pressure you get on the water. And I just wanted a little bit more pressure. So the higher you have it off the ground, the more pressure you're gonna get it. If you're going to use it mainly to go ahead and um, water, you know, put water in your watering can so you can water your garden, your flowers, you don't really need that much elevation. But I find that, that it helps and it gives you a little bit more pressure and it's easier to use, right? Because it's not all the way in the ground. So it's easy for me to turn it on, turn it off and get the water. So I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a quick rundown of how to set up a rain barrel, what components you need. It's basically the rain barrel, the diverter and you need some kind of spout, you know, some kind of gutters to collect the water and then the diverter diverts it into the rain barrel. So then you can put a faucet there or a spigot and then use the water any way you wanna use it. So check out the channel, I'll leave links. If this video was informative, put a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.